Now it's time for How Pro Is That? 2-1 pitch. And that one lined up the middle. That's a base hit. Around third base, Simeon Hill score. And the tying runs are on base. It's 5-3. That ball hit hard. Out to left field. And that one is off the base of the fence. Seager is in. Low goes to third. RBI double for Garcia. Base hit would be huge. And Young the batter. That one is through. Base hit. One run is in. Here comes Al Bombe. He'll score. And the Rangers have taken the lead. How pro is that? Rangers' eighth inning comeback helped them to a sweep of the Guardians. Now lead the AL West by three games and will welcome in the Tampa Bay Rays tonight into Arlington. So Texas is looking to return the favor from losing two of three in the trot back in June. NCC Ballpark Cam taking us to Globe Life. Right now the Rays have seen their division lead shrink to the lowest it's been since April 3rd. Between these two teams, who do you have more confidence in? winning the division, Dan. I, I'm going to go with Texas. And the reason I say that is because I just feel like to be in first from wire to wire from the beginning to the end, I, although both teams are doing this, it just feels different in Tampa. It feels like it's slipping from them versus the Rangers when they do stuff like that against the Guardians where they're able to come back. They got multiple all-stars. They go make a trade for Araldis Chapman and like old vintage Geraldo Chapman throwing you know, over 100 miles an hour again. So I just feel like they are built to keep this division. The Rays are good too. They're a really good team. There's just something happening in Baltimore that I think they're chasing them down and, and you can feel it, you know, it's it's happening. So um, I just think that it's like that thing where they, the, uh, the dream you have where the animal's just gaining on you and it's just gaining on you, it's just coming. That's what the Orioles are doing in the East and I just feel like Texas, Something special is happening there. I don't know if it's Bruce Bochy. I don't know what it is. They put together a good roster. This team might be playing in the World Series, which, as we know, Sierra, Uncle Kevin would like that a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, he would. Uh, he definitely would. I was about to say, though, I don't think – I think for you it's less about the Rays and more about the O's. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, a little bit that. There's nothing wrong with the Rays team. They're loaded, too. Right. There's just this – there's something happening. There's some Oreo magic. I don't know if it's Kevin's video. I don't know if it's they saw the video. And they're feeling it, so they're just something's going on there. I hope we play that video every single day for the rest of the season <laughs> on intentional. Talk. I want a copy to wake up to, you know, like I want that to be my alarm clock in the morning. My alarm clock is Drake and 21 Savage. I'll keep it that way. Perfect, nice. Meanwhile, like NTT Good Ballpark Camp takes us to T Mobile Park. The Twins fresh off a sweep of Oakland, uh, headed to Seattle. Well, Minnesota, they're in first place. They are doing it with Carlos Correa having only an OPS of 715, just 11 homers. The Mariners, they're trying to stay in the wild card race. They're five games out of the final spot after losing two of three for the Tigers with Julio Rodriguez having an OPS of 719 with 13 homers. So here, here's the thing, which all-star is needed most to push their team to a postseason? Is it Carlos Correa or is it Julio Rodriguez? Um, I'm going to I'm going to go with J Rod. And the reason I say that is just because of the division that they're in. Um, Minnesota's division just seems a little bit more gettable. There's not that pressure on Correa to step it up offensively, although that would help. But both these teams rotations are loaded. They pitch. So if you can get Julio Rodriguez really going like hot on fire, like he was in that home run derby where every swing was going on in the ballpark, um, he can transform an offense and maybe some other guys don't feel that pressure and they can pick it up, you know, whether it's Teoscar Hernandez or Cal Raleigh or Ty France, all these other guys continue to contribute. But this guy is a pre Premier player in the game. I mean, uh, the things that he can do are special. We saw the love he got in his home ballpark, and maybe he can kind of use that to slingshot him into an unbelievable second half that leads the Mariners to the playoffs. Mariners eight games back right now. Okay, so of the players, which teams need their all their all stars to basically turn it around to help them uh, the most? You're saying it's J Rod. It's got to be J Rod. Yeah, I just feel I just feel like. They can't score runs. They're not scoring runs like they should be on a regular basis. And if he can get it going in the middle of that lineup, it just makes everybody. Because what if he gets on base, he's dangerous, yeah. right? He's got, you know, he's got a bunch of stolen bases. So it's like, you know, here's a guy who's going to 
possibility of having 40 bags by the end of the year. So he's just such a threat. He's so imposing and he, he can do a lot of damage. And I think in order for them to jump over some of the guys in front of him, some of the teams in front of him, they need his bat to be, you know, they need it to be on fire when they, when they get going here down the stretch. Well, the Twins are two and a half games up, so it's not as so much of a daunting task. NTT Ballpark Cam mm -hmm. giving us a look into Oakland Coliseum. The Red Sox paying a visit to the A's. Boston has won 10 of their last 12 games. They've scored 77 runs over that stretch. They're batting 308 as a team, and with a win tonight in the Bay Area and a Yankees loss, they would move out of last in the East for the first time since May 30th. So they're tied with the Yankees right now and just two games back of the final wild card spot. So are you buying that we could see the Red Sox in October? Yeah, 100%. I'm buying on that. I, uh, you saw what they did offensively at Wrigley Field over the weekend. I mean, Rafi Devers was hitting balls off the scoreboards. And, you know, I think the biggest question is what can their pitching do? Um, from a starting pitching rotation wise. Uh, will James Paxson stay healthy? Uh, will Bayo can continue to do, uh, do what he's doing? You got, you know, a possibility, a good bullpen, not a great bullpen, um, you know, but yes, they're sitting here six games over 500. They get hot, look out for the Red Sox. And um, they've been scoring a bunch of runs. And, and to me, if they get pitching like they're capable, you know, you look at the last seven, eight games, they're seven and one. That's with a four over a four ERA as a staff. So that tells you they're putting it up offensively. If they can start locking it down from a pitching side, this team can make the playoffs and who knows what they might do at the trading deadline to help bolster their roster a little bit. Buyers though. Absolutely right. Buyers. Yeah, you don't sell on this team. Why? Why sell? There's zero point to sell. You're sitting here. You're six. The guys in the locker room have done everything you've asked in a very tough division. You look at it top to bottom. I mean, the Blue Jays are getting going now. They just go out there and sweep the D-backs and Baltimore and Tampa. They're competing. They haven't let down for a bit. They've withstand through some injuries, so they should be buyers, and these guys should believe that they can go out there because offensively they can score runs with anybody. Nine games back, two games out of a wild card spot.